What's up guys, it's Dr. Sammy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use a lingual index when repairing broken teeth. So I think the best way to do this is to jump right in. The first step is to create a matrix, and you do this by mixing your putty system together and adapting it to the lingual surface of the broken teeth in question. Check it out. As you can see, we have awesome adaptation of the broken tooth and the teeth adjacent to it so we can take the matrix on and off with ease. The next step is to cut back the excess material and recreate the tooth's natural contour. This means reestablishing the incisal edge length as well as recreating the marginal ridge. The next step simply involves adding composite resin to the patient's broken tooth. And the easiest way to do this is to add the composite resin to the matrix and then transfer it to the patient's tooth. This makes it easier to work with the composite resin and it avoids you having to deal with uh, too much excess all over the place. So check it out. As you can see, we have a thin lingual index that we can now start adding layers of composite resin to. This is a predictable way to fix broken teeth with composite resin, and I hope you enjoyed it. Now, there is one more way that you can create a lingual shelf with a mylar strip and a wooden wedge, and I'm gonna show that to you now. Now this method is actually way more technique sensitive than the first method because you have to position your finger in the mylar strip in a way that gets the lingual architecture perfect. This involves an even pressure where you put your finger on the natural tooth and the mylar at the same time. If you don't do it right, then you're gonna have a big divot in the composite or you're gonna have way too much excess material. So it's a hard technique to master. Either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I actually got a lot of questions on this particular concept, and I hope my videography technique uh, helped those of you out there to really visualize how I do that. The next video is gonna be a crown preparation tutorial, and it kind of goes through how I design my crowns every single day. So that's coming up, and uh, I'll probably drop that next week. So enjoy your Sunday, and I'll see you for the next one.